these work. Dash is working. We're gonna pull the hazards out. Look around again. Working. We'll test this. Nothing. Fix that. We'll brakes. We'll press the brakes. response from the brakes also no turn signal I'll push that in I don't know if has us in out also let's see no we're gonna put the heater Except the brake lights. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we have a 1991 Ford F-150 with the 4.6, 4.9, uh, six inline six or whatever it is, six cylinder though. The problem is we don't have any brake lights. No turn. We got turn signal, I think. But there's no brake lights involved in it. We started taking it apart. We don't have no windshield wipers. And what else? I think that's it. So, last time this happened, we had to change this switch out. That fixed everything. And we went to the junkyard. We got a new one another one and we're gonna see if that works I remember cutting on the AC or a heater or something and there was smoke something shorted I don't know what it was but ever since then we didn't have any turn signals I narrowed it down this is a common failure piece this is loose so when I started up And I had to force this down. When I forced it down, we ended up having turn signal. Which works. No problem. Right and left works. Turn the other way. The left one should work. Also, when we turn this on, switch, light switch, headlight switch, the dash lights work, radio works. Headlights work, side markers work. We switch to high beams. work. I don't know if that affects everything, but high beams work. 
but if we oh we already got a piece of wood do this boom for the brakes brakes don't work we figured out this comes on this had a short I think yep it has a short in it we gotta fix that see that doesn't affect the brakes so also we notice the windshield wipers don't work that will be this oh, that will be this plug right here when plugged up and turned on, they do not work at all. We checked all the fuses. All the fuses were good. We have this black wire. We have no idea where it goes. So we gotta figure that out too. But one thing I did notice, as far as this being super loose, inside there, I started taking it apart because we had a, we'll just mention that, we had a uh, issue here. This was loose and that was a switch down here and would stay on. I forgot the name of it. If I remember later, I'll tell you. But this is loose. There's a cam inside there and we got to take the steering wheel off to get to that cam. You can either replace the whole thing or you can replace the cam. So we're going to, that's our next thing to take this off, place the steering cam and take a look because it has to be broken there. Also, hazards don't work either let's see the hazards do not work so that has something to do with inside there too so what we're gonna do what we nailed it down to we're gonna get the schematics maybe find out where this I don't want to ground it and it's not a ground wire but it's black and it goes to yellow and yellow goes to somewhere under the dash it seems like it's grounded but we don't know for sure so we're gonna get our schematics see if we can figure out what that is and then we're gonna start because this has to be switched anyway start taking this steering wheel off so it starts off with these bolts right here looks like a torque or a screwdriver i'll let you know there's one on each side that'll take the horn off so that's our first step 